All right, now this is our other scenarios. We determined that the water level maybe had come up too high and was running to the top of the overflow tube. So that tells us that the ball cock either needs a new washer and needs to be rebuilt or we're going to change it. Well, first we're going to change this one. So we're going to take, we're going to go underneath, we already have to shut the water off. We're disconnecting the supply line from the bottom of the ball cock. In this case, it's one of the braided ones. It's very easy to undo. And we get the line off. Then we undo the hold down nut that holds the ball cock to the tank. This is the important nut because this is what keeps the tank from dripping on the floor vis-a-vis -vis the seal right there in the bottom of the ball cock. So we take the old one out. This is a corky. This is a very nice ball cock here. So we take this ball cock, but what I really like is the Mansfield ball cock. This unit is all brass. It takes, it fills very quickly, and it is the quietest of all the ball cocks that you can own. So if you have a toilet next to a bedroom or an area that you would like to enjoy the, the quietness and or the quick filling time, you go find yourself a Mansfield 07A ball cock. And you drop it into the tank, you center it, put down the nut, tighten her down. I can see already that we have too long of a float rod, but that's no problem. We're in a hardware store, we're going to go replace it with a shorter one. We get this anchored down. This job usually requires a pair of channel locks. A pair of 440s or something medium size is pretty nice. And we'll go underneath and we're going to tighten it to the tank. And it's secure. We take, we're going to put the supply line back on it. And then we'll have this all set to go.